I nearly gave up on doing the sort of production and music stuff because it wasn't... I'd had a couple of jobs pull out, I'd had a couple of months with no work and I couldn't meet my rent and it was that. Uh, Yeah, I'm not ashamed to say lots of the Logic presets, which with David, I've managed to sort of like take to the, the next level and the more professional level, but a lot of the original feelings and sounds are made out of Logic presets and uh, particularly the Alchemy, which I'm looking at right now, um, which is like my go-to. Probably my Op 2 600. Although... As Rosa was saying, she heard the other day about how I was in a venue that was flooding and I went to grab the pack of Pringles so, <laughs> that was backstage. I was, like, I was, hung, I was hungry. I? <laughs> I think the other one was, was Julian Cope told me I nearly, um, I nearly gave up on doing the sort of production and music stuff because it wasn't... I'd had a couple of jobs pull out. I'd had a couple of months with no work and I couldn't meet my rent. And it was like, oh, this is like stupid. I was offered a... A job doing something else. I was like, oh, maybe I should take this. You know, maybe it's maybe the time has come where this is not working out anymore. And I was still doing a bit of work with Julian, playing music with him. And he was like, oh no, look, look at yourself. You're unemployable. Look, look in the mirror. No, you wouldn't last five minutes. Stop, stop kidding yourself that you've actually got another option. You haven't. So you've got to make this work. So that's the other one. It's the, you have not having a safety net can be really good sometimes. Realizing, okay, I haven't got a safety net. I've actually got to make this work. I am unemployable outside of this. You know, it was it was actually quite good advice. Yeah, I feel like uh, don't be afraid to be like unprofessional in terms of like not coming up with the most slick sounds or like following music theory and stuff like that. Like use what you have you don't need the most expensive gear obviously now we're lucky enough to work with David who has got the most expensive gear but you know the original ideas were still formed on um yeah our laptops all those keyboards and yeah I guess just like you don't have to do things the proper way 